Hello everyone, welcome back. Today I'm going to show you how to make a DRFX file. I have made it in the past, but I had included all the important and exporting. I made it a little bit more confusing than I needed to. One of my subscribers asked me if I could help him out, so I figured I would make this quick tutorial showing you how to do it. On the right here is my uh, macro that I made. On the left is just a new folder, empty one, and this is my thumbnail picture, 104 by 58. That's the correct size. You don't have to do that step if you don't want to put a, a thumbnail on it, but that is it right there. I have to use this on-screen keyboard because I'm paralyzed. I can't use my hands and arms. Now we're going to make another folder within this folder. And the first one, edit. And then you want to click into that one. And I'm going to put all four categories, generators, titles, transitions, and effects. You don't have to do that. I'm doing it for the tutorial. Whatever you're making is the only one you have to put in. If you made a generator, you only have to make the next step a generator. And so on. And always make sure you add the S behind them. I'm going to make all four here. Like I said, you don't have to. I figured this out on my own. It took me about two weeks. Okay, we're going to make an effect. Because that's what this is. This here is an effect. So I'll double click on effects. Get another folder. Now this is the folder you want to name that you're going to see within Resolve. So whatever you want to call it, this will be the folder you call it. And I'm going to go back. Back to edit. Now we'll take our preset that we made, right click on it, copy, and paste it over here. I'm going to highlight both these. Now if you're going to have multiple, say 10, within one DRFX file, you have to take them down individually, and you have to take your preset and a copy of your thumbnail for each one. Copy. Click away. Double click edit. And effect. That's what we're working on. And here's the folder that's going to show in Resolve. Double click it. Right click and paste. Now you have a settings file and a PNG. You want the PNG to have the same name as a setting. So we'll double click on it and then right click, copy, click away, double click on that one, the thumbnail, delete it and then right click and paste. Now we have both with the same name, but one's a setting and one's a PNG. Like I said, you don't have to bring the thumbnail in if you don't want to. Just leave that step out at the folder that we made that you're going to see in Resolve. I'm going to copy it and then go back to edit. Then you want to Highlight Edit, and then right click, compress to, zip, but we're not going to make a zip yet. Delete all that. Now you want to name this different. 
This is going to be the DRFX file. You don't want it exactly the same as the file we made with the name that I said you're going to see in Resolve. You want to add something to it. If you name both the files the same, Resolve won't recognize it. I'll put an underscore there. At the end, put dot DRFX. Hit enter, a window will pop up. Hit yes. And now we have a DRFX file. I'll just double click on it and it'll want to install, which I'm not going to. And now if you want to make a zip file to send that out, you can include everything if you want. Or just these. Or just the DRFX. Then right click on it. Compress to. Zip. And now we'll just click away. And we have a zip we can send out. Double click on it. There's both the uh, DRFX and the settings. Well, I hope that helps you guys out. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.